Hello everyone, welcome to the POP YouTube channel. Johnny Depp won the defamation lawsuit he filed and was suing for $50 million. Johnny Depp filed a lawsuit against his ex-wife, alleging that she ruined his career by writing an essay that accused him of domestic abuse in 2018. If you want more celebrity news content, subscribe to the POP YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. The jury awarded Johnny $10.35 million in the lawsuit. Heard was awarded $2 million in damages and still has to pay her ex $8.35 million. After Heard's attorney said that she could not afford to pay Depp $10 million, as ruled by the court, fraudulent GoFundMe campaigns for Heard have popped up everywhere. Heard was ordered to pay Depp $15 million in damages and was ordered to pay him $2 million for claims of defamation. These rulings came after a lengthy court battle, during which Depp prevailed. Heard's lawyer, Elaine Bradhoft, said that she was only appealing the verdict because Heard cannot pay the damages. After the verdict, some people created fake GoFundMe campaigns with titles like Help Amber Heard Pay Off Johnny Depp. GoFundMe has wasted no time in blocking pages that were trying to make money off the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial. GoFundMe shut down an alleged campaign that was raising money to help Amber Heard pay her $8.35 million in damages after Johnny Depp won the final verdict of their defamation case against her. Kimberly Moore, using the login credentials of a friend, set up a page to help Heard pay off her debt. That ended abruptly when GoFundMe finally shut it down. In response, they will keep an eye out for similar campaigns to prevent funds from being removed from unsuspecting contributors. The website's title read that she believes that Amber was a victim of domestic violence and that social media protected the abuser. The author shared their frustration with how the abuser was able to maintain freedom despite his actions. However, a spokesperson for GoFundMe claims they were able to flag the profile before the money was raised. A team of GoFundMe employees ruled out that Amber or anyone on her team posted the scam and had it taken down as soon as possible. In the wake of the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial, all parties are still quite up in the air, with the possibility of a lot of money on the line. With lines drawn between both sides, people might try to capitalize on it for personal gain. This seems to have happened with the following GoFundMe campaign to help Amber Heard pay off what she may owe Johnny Depp now following the trial. Celebrities, including Amber Heard's legal team, were quick to realize that the GoFundMe campaign was no good. Celebrity Insider and TMZ are unsure whether the plans were to hand over the money or to prey on those wishing to support her. But the crowdfunding platform had to take down their page. Furthering controversy, GoFundMe pulled the campaign Amber Heard said she and her team were responsible for. The campaign was taken down by the company after Amber Heard denied their claims of responsibility and because donations stopped. The mess with Johnny Depp is still ongoing and does not seem as though it will end soon. When the jury trial between Amber and Johnny concluded, it was decided that both were reliable for defamation. Because they were suing each other, their rulings happened at the same time. With a victory for Johnny Depp, who received $10 million in compensatory damages, as well as $5 million in punitive, which was reduced to $350,000. With simple math, Amber Heard now owes Johnny Depp $8 million. Needless to say, that is quite a financial burden for Amber. Heard is estimated to have a net worth of $1.5 million, which means there could be a bankruptcy filing in the future. Recently, Amber said that her accuser being unfair and the three-ring circus of a trial wasn't really about justice. Some supporters of Heard believe that Depp's assault escalated the situation and caused various false accusations to be made. So it was no surprise when a GoFundMe account was created to raise money for Heard. I believe Amber and social media protected the abuser, according to the description, for the Justice for Amber Heard campaign. If you can please help her, she will have direct access to the money. I also contacted her attorney so they can loop her in. The company said that when it comes to campaigns from people who aren't friends or relatives of the victim, 
GoFundMe will remove any fundraisers unless there's a direct connection and the fundraiser has been authorized by the recipient of the funds. The spokesperson did not immediately respond to questions about how many fake campaigns have been uncovered so far. The team of the company did not respond to an email for comment. Amber Heard's lawyer says she can't afford to pay the judgment, but she sure is not setting up a GoFundMe. There seems to be plans to send this back to the courts for another go-around, in some form or another. The actress has claimed she was exercising her right to freedom of speech with an opt printed in the Washington Post that was at the heart of this initial lawsuit by Johnny Depp. Whether another set of jurors see it that way remains to be seen. There's still some chance we get other GoFundMe pages popping up before it is all said and done. The account disappeared after raising hundreds of donations in just a few days. Have the GoFundMe administrators joined Team Johnny bandwagon? Not exactly. GoFundMe has not given many details, but apparently, they had reason to believe that the money being raised was not going to herd. Another GoFundMe fake campaign with a goal of $15 million was also recently removed. According to the description, this is completely non-profit and 100% will go to Amber Heard, help a woman who is suffering. A few weeks into the trial, trolls took advantage and actively ran campaigns. One of them asking for $50 million to save Amber Heard, and another asking for $200,000 in donations from anyone to stop her. This reflects the often vile online discourse surrounding cases like this one. Pre-trial, the pro-Johnny Depp fandom created viral memes and videos mocking and berating Amber Heard to promote their agenda. They also tried to raise money to try and counter what has been done to Johnny and his family through GoFundMe campaigns. Moore wrote, It's so sad that he was able to get away with the abuse. The judgment furthers that abuse, if you can please help her. Sounds convincing? But there are algorithms and machines designed to find fake profiles. Their current goal is to shut down as many fraudulent pages for her that solicited funds. And unfortunately, without crowdfunding, it will be that much harder for her to do so, as donors are wary of getting scammed. Other fans started campaigns to raise money so that they and other supporters of both Depp and Heard could attend a trial. The vitriol of social media and relentless online discourse may have ultimately influenced the jury. Bradford said that during the trial, online commentary became part of their deliberations. There's no way they couldn't have been influenced by it, and it was horrible. Bradford stated, it was lopsided. Heard apologized to Bradford after the verdict, saying that she was sorry for all the women. Heard had been in and out of the court more or less non-stop since she separated from Depp. This is the latest in a long line of legal and financial headaches for her. On May 27, Heard's attorneys argued during their closing statements that this was six years since she filed a restraining order against Depp. Today's court ruling in favor of Heard demonstrate that circumstances surrounding Depp's motion for a temporary restraining order were suspicious. A former employee of TMZ testified, this was an indication that Amber was planning on filing documents at the courthouse that day. Six years later, the world has become accustomed to messy legal wrangling as lawyers enter and exit each party's legal teams. This is not the end. The lawsuit has not been dismissed, which means this issue may come back up soon. Heard is expected to file an appeal, so we could be relitigating this now. Unlike Heard's team in the past, this time around, Heard's team plans on doing everything in their power to ensure there are no television cameras in the courtroom. With an experienced and knowledgeable team, it may seem like a difficult case to win. However, there was a sense of optimism in Heard's case. Johnny Depp sued Amber Heard for $50 million in connection with a 2018 essay she wrote for the Washington Post in which she identified herself as a victim of abuse. Depp's legal team had to prove that Heard was lying, her lies had a malicious purpose, and her actions have messed with Depp's career. This also presented an additional hurdle in that they needed to prove that their article was about Johnny Depp, 
as Amber Heard never mentioned him by name. One of the members of Team Depp's argument focused on how he lost income as a result of the Post essay. $22.5 million was lost in this failed movie, with the most significant chunk of that coming from Depp's next installment in The Pirates of the Caribbean, which was scrapped. Amber Heard's divorce case has cost Depp millions of dollars in payouts. Following the recent abuse allegations against Johnny Depp, a return voyage aboard the Black Pearl could be in the offing. Depp issued a statement soon after the jury's decision that he was grateful to have his life back and promised his fans of films that the best is yet to come. It appears that a former Disney exec agrees with Johnny Depp, who spoke to People magazine on the condition of anonymity. The former executive told People, I believe post-verdict that Pirates is primed for rebooting with Johnny as Captain Jack back on board. There is just so much potential box office treasure for a beloved character deeply embedded in the Disney culture. With legacy sequels in, it's likely that Disney is already considering whether or not to bring back Captain Jack Sparrow for his big screen return. According to the producer, with Jerry Bruckheimer riding high on the massive success of Tom Cruise in Top Gun Maverick, there is a huge appetite for bringing back bankable Hollywood stars in massively popular franchises. As Depp said before, he won't return to the franchise even if Disney gives him $300 million and a million alpacas. In this case, the studio will probably set its asking price at a much higher number than $22.5 million. Disney may decide that Johnny Depp is no longer bankable with their brand in the current climate. Heard's team has said that his lack of professionalism caused Depp his job before she went public with her abuse claims. The jury seemed to agree with this assessment, as the $10 million in damages were far less than what Depp requested. The jury's verdict signified their tacit acknowledgement of the fact that she was not the reason he lost the pirate's job. Even though Johnny Depp won, he incurred substantial adverse press due to the trial. No major studio would want to be associated with either of the brawlers so it is impossible to imagine them shelling out funds to hire them. Depp is now in Britain, where he is receiving intense applause everywhere he goes. But the praise is different than the expense to invest in him. Some fans have expected that Heard might have enough money to afford $8.4 million payouts to Depp, as her career has been very long and lucrative. However, it appears that is not the case. The new report from InTouch estimates that Amber's total net worth is $1.5 million. Depp, meanwhile, possesses a net worth of $150 million. Johnny Depp has been appearing in major motion pictures since before Heard was born, and he anchored Disney's wildly successful Pirates of the Caribbean franchise from 2003 to 2017. A sixth installment in the franchise has been put on hold indefinitely because of poor publicity from Hurt's allegations. Depp insisted that the beginning of his lawsuit was not about money, but in the sense of a civil trial, it was exactly about money. Despite the news stories about which party was guilty and whether or not a criminal case was involved, money was always what was at stake. The damage to the actor's career will likely be permanent, but none of the jurors' concern. Hertz attorney Brad Hoff appeared on the Today Show this morning, where she answered her questions about her financial status. Oh no, absolutely not. Brad Hoff told Savannah Guthrie in addressing how her client could afford Depp's damages. The attorney reiterated that Heard plans to appeal the verdict, explaining that the Depp's team was able to suppress items that could have been proven to be key evidence. According to Brad Hoff, they were able to suppress the medical records, which were very, very significant because they showed a pattern going back to 2012 of Amber reporting this to her therapist, for example. It sounds like Brad Hoff is already strategizing for round two. And we're sure she's well aware that if Heard wants to win back the public, that she needs to get her appeal in as soon as possible. That's it for this video, Plenty of Pop fan. Remember to subscribe to our channel for all the latest celebrity news and gossip. It's like candy you can't stop eating. We'll cover what celebrities are wearing, 
who's dating who and not dating anymore. It's hard to keep up with the recent happenings in their lives. We'll satisfy your gossip fix daily. Comment below if there's a celebrity in particular you want us to cover or a juicy news tip you'd like to share.